crypto lightsaber back with another video guys so we're going to talk about squid grow and um i was lying in bed this morning i saw somebody post something on telegram saying that squid grow had dumped so what did i do i jumped out my bed ran downstairs opened my laptop and pressed buy all right guys so yep i bought the dip okay guys it was a massive dump today um i believe a whale um sold 450k worth of squid grow which obviously caused a impact on the price maybe a few other people sold as well but um you know when i listen to the the voice chat from the squid grow team right they explain that you know this person had actually had 800k worth of squid grow it was a top 10 holder okay and um, that person decided to sell in a very bad way and um, because of the way they sold they only managed to get about 450k out all right guys because of price impact right so when you got a big bag really the weight is not to dump the whole thing right it's about scaling out slowly okay guys because when you scale out slowly you actually get more of a return on your investment and you don't impact the price as much okay guys so me for example when my bag grows in squid grow i'm not just going to be dumping a huge amount of squid grow on the market because that's going to affect the price it's going to affect the other people that are holding it's going to hurt the project right so what i will do is i will scale out a little bit at a time maybe sell a certain amount on a daily basis or you know maybe every 12 hours or whatever because there's always going to be new buys and new sales coming in right and it just gives you a better average uh and a better average when it's coming out right guys so you, you can actually get closer to what your balance actually says if you scale out in a controlled way all right guys and you respect the project that made you a lot of money okay guys so this dip might have been a scary dip but, um, you know, if I would have been able to catch this sooner, I would have liked to. I believe it went down to about 13k, uh, sorry, 13 million in market cap. Straight back up, though, to 31 million. I think it went to actually about 36 million. I can't remember, but it did come all the way up. And um, I've just been buying dips, okay, guys? So my position on this particular project has increased significantly. I managed to get a lot more tokens rather than buying it at the top. As you can see, I have been averaging in along the way. Okay, guys, I sold early to my mistake, but um, you know, uh, you know, since then I've rectified that and I've been averaging in, and um, yeah, I'm reaping the rewards of that. And this dip has just provided so much opportunity for me to get a lot more tokens for a fraction of the price of what it was before. So something they also talked about today in the voice chat after the dip because they did put an emergency voice chat just to keep the community calm and things like that but we know this is a legit project we know they're not going to rug pull us all right guys but we can expect dips along the way and i'm actually kind of happy that this dip has happened of course because i got more tokens and not only that it's a little breather from the upside right so now it's going to make a lot more investors confident and um, to get in right because we've seen a significant dip okay guys and we're seeing the price stabilization we're seeing the community you know rally back and keep this thing going right so squid grow has announced that they are going to be listing on free tier two exchanges this week so if you go on your twitter if you go on their twitter sorry you'll see that announcement but let's just read the full announcement from here um from the actual team so they said we mentioned our exchange plan last week and it's time for a new weekly update in the background shib toshi and rdub and our team have been hard at work planning and lining things up for this magnificent community so far we have attained bkx bitmark coin tiger and decoin a good warm-up and as a result our daily trading volume has touched over five million a day at times right so next up we will begin moving on to stronger entities this week between now and sunday we will have three tier two exchange announcements what will separate these exchanges from our previous ones is that they have more organic volume and they are more rarely seen and harder to obtain when these are unveiled and listed understand that we are just getting into stride and we will have many more exchanges to come as well as more surprise updates regarding powerhouse market moves so we know we're already on approximately seven exchanges with squid grow and i believe that this is going to bring us up to 10 exchanges so that is pretty bullish for the price of or will be pretty bullish in my opinion for the price of squid grow and um yeah, it just means more trading volume more eyes on squid grow okay guys more investor confidence um more places to buy it sell it 
do whatever you want with it. Okay, guys. But if you want to stake it, you don't want to be on the exchange. You want to be on, you know, you want it. You want the keys to your crypto, right? You want it in your own wallet, MetaMask or Trust Wallet or whatever. You can stake that on their website, which I've shown in previous videos. Up to fifty percent uh, APY on um, on staking and um, LP staking, you're getting up to five hundred percent, which works out about one point three six percent per day. Okay, guys. So super bullish on Squid Grow. Um, am I afraid of the dip? No. Can it go down a little bit more potentially? Do I believe it's going to go up? Yes. Uh, so it's just about taking advantage, right? Accumulating a great a great position and um, winning when it takes off. All right, guys. So it's giving me them Shiba Inu vibes. A few people have said that. People that you would, you know, um, names that you would recognize in crypto. And, um, you know, everybody um, has got a great opportunity with this particular project right now. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to give you that update. Scary dip, buy the dip situation. None of this is financial advice. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. All right, guys. And I'm happy with the position that I've got now. And if it comes down more, I may potentially buy more. I do have funds sitting on the sidelines to potentially scoop up more of a bag. All right, guys. If I would have just got down here, I probably would have aped hard and it would have came back up. I wouldn't need to accumulate anymore at that point. I'd be so happy with that position. But I ended up getting a little bit higher around this point. Okay, got in again over there, and I bought some again over here, but I believe that this is going to perform, alright guys, I, I'm, I'm betting on the dev, like I've said before, so let me know what you think in the comments guys, tick the little bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel of course, like the video which helps with the YouTube algorithm, I'll see you guys in the next video.